starting off with our clean rhythm channel, here's a to our overdriven rhythm tone. Soloing tone on snapshot three. And then a massive lead tone here on snapshot four. Okay, so to get started building these rhythm and lead tones using snapshots, we need to jump in for a quick bit of housekeeping. To make sure your unit is in snapshot mode, you use the mode button, and you know you're in snapshot mode when you've got the red lights surrounding the foot switch there. So in snapshot number one here, if you don't know how to set up your snapshot parameters between each individual snapshot, come up to your parameter control here, push in and rotate. And you see when I did that, a white bracket surrounded the number here. So what that allows us to do is change that parameter per snapshot. So you can see over here it's 5.3, I can adjust that lower. So when I change back, I've got the lower setting there and that's how we do that. Okay, so let's jump in, check out our signal path and the parameters we'll be setting up today. So here on our unit, we've got two amps running with a split. So we've got a placated dirty and a placated clean. You can use one amp, it's no problem there. I just look like using two sometimes. We've got our delay ping pong, which we're gonna be setting the snapshots between the feedback and the mix. And then with our reverb, we've got a plate reverb and the main action is gonna be taking place between the decay and the mix here. So let's jump back to our amp settings here. With our top amp setting, here you can see on the display screen we're going to keep this neutral all the way through so you can see there's no white brackets surrounding the parameters and when I change the snapshots we've got no movement in this area of the screen when we drop that down using the joystick to get to the placator clean you can see the white brackets surrounding the parameters and that there's a lot of movement on those parameters when we switch our way through okay so we're going to be keeping this stock clean all the way through and we're gonna be making the changes here. So feel free to tweak these to your setup and the genre you're gonna be looking at, but let's jump in, check it out. Okay, so with the first amp, the Placated Dirty on top, I've just got that set stock all the way through. So we've got drive at five, the bass at four, the mids at four, treble at seven, presence at six, channel volume at seven and a half. So if we jump down, we've got our drive at five, our bass at five, our treble at 8.1, our presence at six, our masters at eight and our channel volume is at 10. So this contributes to our nice, punchy and bitey clean sound here. So you can hear that there. And if we jump over and check out our delay settings, we've got the feedback set to 20% and the mix at 12. So you can hear, so very, very subtle on those delay settings. And the reverb, very, very small, decays at three, and the mix is at 20%. All right, so let's jump in, check out snapshot number two, and see what's going on with our changes here. So here's our first clean sound, moving to our overdriven sound. So if we jump on in, we've got the drive has been pushed to nine, the bass has been cut to three, trebles at 8.6, the presence is at 8.6, the master has been pushed right up to max at 10, and the channel volume has been dropped to seven and a half there. If we move over, we've got minimal changes to our delay settings. The feedback's at 20%, the mix has been pushed up to 15%, so let's listen out for that. So just a little bit more, but only very, very, very subtle there. And then on our reverb, we're looking at the decay, has been pushed, okay, so from three, up to four and our mix stays the same at 20%. Okay, so that's our overdriven rhythm sound. Let's jump in and check out our first soloing sound. So. All right, so straight away we can hear some differences in the tone. Let's jump in and check out what's going on here. So, with our drive, it's come back from nine, up to, down to five here. The bass has moved up from three to five. The treble's staying round about the eight mark. Our presence is at six. The master volume is at eight, and our channel volume's at 10. If we jump back to snapshot number two, the master volume was pushed to 10, and our channel volume at seven. But here, we've reversed that. Master's at eight, channel volume's at 10 there. So if we come up, check out our delay settings, we can really hear the difference. <laughs> on the tones. So let's jump back in, 
the feedback has been pushed from 20% to 30%, and surprise, surprise, our mix has doubled from 15% from Snapshot 2 up to 30% here. Our reverb has moved from four up to five, and again, a subtle lift in the mix from 20% up to 30%. So that's our first soloing tone out of the way. Let's jump in and check out our last soloing tone with the snapshots and see how you can get this massive lead sound here. So snapshot number four. All right, so we hear a massive change in the sound, really big delay tails there. So let's jump in and check out what's going on. So using our amp button here, a little shortcut back to the amp settings. Okay, our driver is at 6.2, our bass is at 5, our treble is at 6, so that's coming down from 8. Our presence is at 2.5, and that's a drop from 6 from Snapshot 3. Our master is at 10, so it's maxed out, and our channel volume is at 8.2. So again, this is another reversal from the 8 and 10 on Snapshot 3 to the master at 10 and 8.2 here. If we jump over and see the delay tails and the adjustments to the delay sound. Our feedback's at 40%, so that's a massive jump up from 30, and the mix, you can hear that there at 45%. All right, so it's time to check out these snapshots side by side. So starting off with our clean rhythm channel, here's a... So by using the snapshots to set changes between our amp, delay, and reverb settings, you can build a whole palette of sounds there from clean to overdrive to solo tones and then to massive dreamy solo tones that you've just heard there. If you've got any questions about how you can set up this on your Helix LT, drop those in the comments below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And people, if you want to master the fundamental skill sets of contemporary guitar, check out the High Point Music Fundamentals program. Links are in the description below and it all helps to support this channel. My name is Ryan Wyatt. Have a lot of fun with this one and look forward to seeing you all in the next video.